Meet Beebot, the fully electric robot that cleans beaches, gathers data, and serves as an important reminder. Let's get into it. Keeping beaches clean requires a lot of work. Even with a diligent crew of heroic cleaners, some small bits of plastic will still slip through. That's where Beebot comes in. Beebot was developed by marine manufacturer Peralu Marine, and the first American Beebot was purchased by ocean cleanup company 4Ocean. He's the first 100% electric uh, beach cleaner robot. Unlike a Roomba, Beebot is not autonomous. It works with, uh, with a remote control. The artificial intelligence is not reliable at the moment. On the beach, there are a lot of families. We want to make sure that the Beebot is safe. A remote operator can control Beebot from up to 300 meters away. As it goes, Beebot sifts through the sand, picking up small bits of trash and leaving a clean strip of beach in its wake. The sifter has a vibrating tray. It digs in the sand and it vibrates to let the sand through. And at the same time, it keeps all the trash. Because protection of the ecosystem is Beebot's main goal, the design of the robot allows it to maneuver these sensitive areas without causing damage. We want to make sure that, uh, you know, first of all, like Beebot doesn't cause beach erosion. It runs on tracks. So basically the, the weight of the Beebot is spread on those tracks. You know, whereas if you have like a beach cleaning truck or tractor, you have all the weight that's on the wheels, you know, so it puts a lot of pressure uh, on the sand. That's the first thing. The second is Beebot doesn't dig as deep as the traditional beach cleaning machines. For Ocean says a single Beebot can clean up to 3,000 square meters of beach in an hour. That's seven basketball courts worth of beach. But Beebot doesn't stop there. As it gathers trash, it can also gather data about what sorts of trash are the most prevalent in a given area. So we, we team up uh, with uh, universities uh, and what they do is they analyze and quantify the trash that we collect. You know, if you want to convince people to change their habits, you need to show them facts. First, we can change behaviors, or at least try to change behaviors. And the second thing also is we can put some pressure on the public authorities to change the laws when it comes to single-use plastics. The target buyers for Bebot right now are hotels, resorts, and municipalities. The hope is that in addition to cleaning up after us, Bebot will also be a firm reminder of the persistence of plastics and other pollution, damaging our precious marine ecosystems. Bebot is a constant reminder for the people that we have a problem of littering. Bebot isn't the only environmental cleanup tech offered by Peralu Marine. It's the first in a whole family of devices called the Serial Cleaners. Other devices include the Pixie Drone, a floating remote control drone that can gather both solid and liquid waste, and the Invisibubble, a system of perforated hoses that uses air bubbles to guide debris into collection points. The technology is not the real solution. We want to educate people, also convince them that uh, they need to change their habits uh, maybe by reducing their plastic consumption, uh, also by recycling more, and also reusing. What do you think of Beebot? Would you like to see one on a beach near you? Let us know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Oral. Try to leave those beaches a little cleaner than you found them. <laughs>